Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to do a tutorial on a diagram in SketchUp. Well, the idea of today is uh, to show another way of making a diagram, maybe like in an easier, easier steps and maybe more simplified. Here is the before and after. And well, let's get to it. Uh, I started in, uh, doing a model in SketchUp that I had of a building from, uh, from uh, some Dutch architects called Van der Broek and, Broek and Bekema. It's a very cool building and I had it modeled so I was like you know let's just do this for the for for short better um, <clears throat> so what I did was basically uh, put it in in at cinematic view uh, where all the lines were parallel uh, activate well put it in like in a geographically placed uh, and then put it in various styles so I exported it in lines I exported it with shadows and um, exported it in x-ray just so I would have like many options because I, I the thing is I didn't really know where this was going <laughs> I just like started and I just I knew I wanted to do a very simple diagram that didn't take as much time and that, that didn't have as much detail but um, well I just you know had the model in SketchUp and I was like you know let's just whatever happens in Photoshop. I've seen some references, so I'm just gonna like go with it. So I imported all the images at the same time so they could just be very well. And um, yeah, that's basically it. After I had all the images put on, I uh, <clears throat> I started looking for, 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 for background textures on in the on the internet and I found some grids that I thought were gonna be cool I, I, at the end I, at the beginning I was gonna put like a lot, a lot of grids which was gonna be cool as well but at the end I just left one as a you know like as the backdrop and well yeah I just uh, with a mask I, I I put the building on top of, of everything and and the the grid below okay after that i look for a texture so it so it could have like a more like a more sensual feeling the the diagram that wouldn't be like so flat but this paper texture would have would yeah would make it look more interesting I also cropped uh, the whole canvas a little bit, so it, it, you could just concentrate on what the architecture was and not have so many blank space. Although blank space is good, but for th for these purposes, I didn't leave much. And then I just started coloring um, uh, with with you know with with a paint bucket, like windows with different types of uh, of blacks, so I could have like. Uh, it could look like a, a, a building that was very active. I just painted the windows. And after that, I activated the shadows that I had exported from um, from SketchUp. And I painted also some 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 really, really, really uh, soft shadows with a 10% opacity and a soft brush uh, to where I thought, you know, it would maybe look cool. Trying to keep it like very, very simple, not keep it like very complex now and what I, what I really wanted was uh, just the basic diagram and to put uh, a lot of people and uh, yeah so that the people could just uh, just stand out a lot but I didn't want to put like person by person could I knew it was gonna take a lot of time so I, I, I selected a, 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 a brush of a person and I modified the 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 properties in the in the brush palette where I activated the scatter and I you know I just placed it so it could scatter a lot and you could have a different size jitter just so it wouldn't look like there's a lot of people and in different sizes and um, yeah 
that was basically it I wanted to to do more or less like a like a flow diagram like you know of people that are, are going through a building and what I liked about this building a lot is that it creates like an interior street so what I did was uh, start painting people uh, with this interior street to show the diagram obviously it, I mean means of this this video was to to show how to how to make a very very simple diagram and I think this was less than 15, 15 minutes or something well you have to have a good model but it wasn't that complex but after that you can make basically anything I mean I I decided to do it with uh, with, the, with, with, the, with the people or well, you can do it with basically anything you want I think I am going to use this model in the future to to, sh to show you know what what uh, what other type of diagrams you can do like in very very easy ways but I think this was a good result so yeah I just started painting it and you just it's very simple once you have the scatter turned on <clears throat> the scatter turned on it uh, you just place it and there appears a lot of people the, uh, at the end it, the result was more like a, kind of like a lot of ants <laughs> but you know I just I liked it it was it was kind of different it's not that technical but it was kind of yeah maybe more more artistic but it, it explained the idea you know that the, the, bu the building is kind of like a kind of like, kind of like a street it generates a new street and where the people can just cross because that's what really what happens in real life. And I think that was it. Mm, yeah, you can just paint to whatever you like. And uh, also be careful with the colors. I, I picked red because I knew it was gonna stand out of all the black and white diagram. But if you're gonna have a diagram with colors, then you know, just pick well your colors so there won't be too much colors. I think that in one of these diagrams, if you have more than two colors, it's 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 pretty much enough. And then obviously, I just put the text of of uh, of the diagram, and I put uh, yeah, just put the text of the diagram. So yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, if you wanted to subscribe, please uh, hit the like button hit the subscribe button share it with your friends I really want to make more of these videos uh, I just I have a lot of ideas in my head and there's a lot of stuff to do uh, and I just want to show them so just, just share these videos and it'll be alright see you later